What's up, fellas? So today we're here to talk about the upside to sleeping with a lot of women. All right, because I did the downside to sleeping with a lot of women. And uh, I meant to get back around to doing that, but we're going to get in that to this today. All right, so the number one upside to sleeping with a lot of women is the external validation, which is going to give you confidence. All right. Let me tell y'all guys something. There's nothing that validates a man more than a woman submitting to him having sex. I'm just going to tell you that. And then, then nothing says women. The reason this is, guys, is women are like the biggest challenge. The I got 700, 800 videos. This other dating coach has got 3,000 videos talking about women. I mean, women are that it's, it's that many different varieties of women. That's why you got to make all these videos. No one size fits all with women. So when you actually sleeping with one, it actually feels like an accomplishment. It really does. It, 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 whenever you get ready to go in the bedroom, if, if for the guys who don't sleep around, obviously it don't mean much if you get it easy. But for all my guys who might sleep with two girls a year, three girls a year, when you on a date and y'all making out, and you like, oh my god, oh, oh, about to have sex. You know, I can't believe it. I cracked the code. Oh man, you can't believe it. you like, oh, she let me feel on her breast. Oh, I think I'm gonna get some tonight. Oh, I can't believe it. And then when you take her pants and pants off, you like, oh, this is, this is about to happen. I can't believe it. I'm about to get my dick wet. It's like the greatest challenge in the world. And so when you sleeping with a lot of women. It just gives you that validation of just being that guy. Just it, women are like the biggest approval of social proof that it is because that it's not you. They're that strange. They're that finicky. Today I got high interest. Oh, you called me one time too much. Now I'm losing in, in, uh, interest. They that fucking stupid. So it's not really nothing you. It's just that they're so fickle and. And it's even more now with the options that they have and social media and day naps and stuff like that to just actually maintain one interest for two weeks is like cracking the code. So that's the issue with that guy. So it gives you that external validation, the ultimate proof of social proof. You know, we guys, we just like you. Hey, he a cool dude. Not women. They are you being the friend zone? Oh, you're a cool dude. I'm glad you're a cool dude. Cool dude in the friend zone. It's like, okay, I got to be this, I got to be that. I, I mean, it's girls that I don't, I, I go out, hang out with, I don't sleep. Because it, it's so many different variables at play that you got to deal with so many that sleep with some. It's if, you, if you go on a date with 10 women, you probably sleep with one or two of them. Seriously. For an experienced guy like me, maybe five or six of them. Probably a good six. But that's still almost half. That's still, let's just say half that I didn't. Well, what happened? They went on a date with me. They found me attractive. So many variables at play. So the external validation, the external confidence that it gives you of social proof, guys. I don't know no other way to say it. And, and, and for all my guys who say, well, I get it from internal. Let me say this. And I said this on another video, so I'm going to say it again. Why this is external validation matters. I tell you guys to get your confidence from accepting your insecurities and understanding preferences, right? And timing and all that. But let's just hypothetically say, I want y'all guys to use your imagination right now. Let's just hypothetically say for the next 10 years, all my guys who get their validation from internally, from themselves, let's just hypothetically say for the next 10 years, you couldn't get a woman to go on a date with you. No matter how many you talk to, not, that's not even considered sleeping with. I'm just talking about to go on a date with you. And let's just let's just take me, for example. Right. If I couldn't get a woman to even go on a date with me for the next 10 years, at some point, my confidence would drop. I don't care how tough you think you is or how much internal confidence you try to claim you got. If you for the next 10 years couldn't get a woman to go on a date with you, that is going to screw with your confidence. I don't care how bad you think you is. So to say that external validation doesn't matter is just you just. You living in a fantasy. That's bullshit. And I'll tell you to your face, that's bullshit. That does matter. I can tell you right now, if, 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 if I go out this weekend 
and choosing signals or not, all right, regardless of choosing signals or not, let's just say I approached five women, let's say they was choosing me, but I went up and then I got rejected, opposed to I went out and I got all five of them and all five of them blowing up my phone, opposed to the, the other time I went out, which you don't think this will make me more confident that these five girls, you don't think that'll make me feel better? That I went out, got five numbers, and all five of them blowing up my phone. Opposed to I went out this five times, and none of the girls gave me their number. I ain't saying that this will make me feel bad, but I'm just saying this will damn sure make me feel good. Okay? that wouldn't, The five girls not giving me their number, that wouldn't hurt me none, right? I say, okay, hey, bad weekend. But five girls, all of them hot, blowing up my phone? Shit, man, you couldn't tell me nothing. I'll be moonwalking down the goddamn street. You couldn't tell me goddamn nothing. Blowing up my phone, telling me some, hey, can I come over? So that does matter, guys. That external validation does matter. So it would give you more confidence, guys. And ain't nothing wrong with that. All right? I want you guys to get your confidence from internal, from you just accepting your insecurities and accepting the fact that every woman's not going to be attracted to you. But you'll be a goddamn lie if you try to act like, external validation from women and the social proof that it gives you doesn't make you feel better that is that would be a a, a goddamn lie all right next guys you understand female nature you start to understand that hey i see why ams says they're all sluts now a lot of guys get honest get the uh understanding female nature from heartbreak and all this that, and the other some guys get it uh from observation and some guys get it from sleeping with other guys, girl. Whatever the case, when I say observation, that's just you seeing like you get, maybe you got female family members and you observe that they ain't about shit. And so then you start to realize that they ain't about shit. But sleeping with a lot of women will start to let you know. Because if you're sleeping with a lot of women, what that means? That they're probably sleeping with you, right? And some of them probably have boyfriends and dating. And some of them probably didn't even make you jump through hoops like they make some women guys jump through hoops and you start to realize that you know what women treat guys different you know i'm around here banging 100 women 200 women and it's and you guys on youtube crying that they 30 year old virgins and you start to realize that you know what women are they are what ams said they are all sluts it's just simple as that i'm over here doing all this i don't want a relationship why is these women sleeping with me why is they dealing with me why is this guy over here want a relationship with him? They won't even call him back, but they all over me. Okay, guys? So that's a good way to understand female nature if you sleep with her. That's what I started to really understand female nature. I always had observed it, but when I started sleeping with a lot of women, some of them I wasn't even doing nothing for nothing. Just, oh, he attractive. Next, guys, is less likely to get attached. What happens is, guys, especially for the guys that don't sleep around a lot, they, it's easy for them to get attached because you don't get sex that often. So when you do get a girl and the sex is good, you can get attached attached to the sex because you don't get it that much. If you're a guy that has sleeps around a lot, obviously, even if it's good, it doesn't mean that much to you because you get it a lot. OK, it's sort of like for all my guys over here that, you know, watch they diet and stuff. Uh, you eat that cheat meal. That cheat meal seemed like the best meal in the history of the world. Like it's almost like you're on death row and you finna your last meal on earth. That thing tastes the best. Do you think it'll taste like that if you ate it every day? No. And that's the same way it is when you're having sex with a lot of women. You you don't get attached because it's nothing special. You have it all the time, so you're less likely to get attached. That's one reason why it's so le so hard for me to get attached. I've had so much sex that sexually. I, I actually go the opposite way. I actually get bored. I'm actually the opposite. Most of you guys get attached. I get bored. I hit a couple of times and I'm kind of bored. You guys hit a couple of times, you fall in love. All right. And that just comes from me sleeping with so many women in my life that it's nothing special to me. The next thing, the next upside to fucking a lot of women is the pre-selection factor. All right. What it does, guys, is it lets women know that you have some type of social proof, the pre-selection aspect. So it's just like how rich people, the reason they get richer, guys, y'all ever heard the phrase, the richer get richer? The reason the richer get richer is because they have more to invest, and that's why they get richer. Jeff Bezos keep getting richer because he has more money to invest than you, 
All right. So the more money you invest, the more smart investments, the more money you can make. The same way it works with women. You have women. Women see that they automatically assume that you have some kind of social status or social proof or something. And so they want to build it. So guess what that means? Well, I don't need to uh, shit test you or none of that. Hey, it's like women. You, you ever got those credit card letters in the mail that say you've been pre-screened? That's what that's what women is do for you to other women. They pre-screen you already. So it makes women feel like, you know what? I can sleep with him. These other women have already pre-screened him. And if he wasn't about or running his mouth or whatever the case, whatever turn women off on that situation is, they wouldn't be dealing with him. Because women know how finicky, women know how crazy they are and how finicky they are themselves. So the fact that you have women and you're able to maintain that attraction that lets them know that you must have some kind of social value. Okay, guys, women know how finicky they are. They even know. That's, that's why a married man becomes attractive to a woman. All right, if, 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 she's, if she's assuming that he's the alpha and beta male provider, he's just provider. But if any of you guys that are married or in long-term relationship, have you ever wondered why women all of a sudden giving you the eye and stuff? Because they know, damn, you able to maintain a woman's interest consistently for two years as crazy as we is they know you must have some kind of social proof they know you must be okay because women know that they, they know how finicky they are all right guys and the last one guys is obviously you become better in the bedroom for all you guys that want to improve yourself sexually and stuff like that the number one way to do it is to have more sex to have more sex you have to make yourself a better catch a higher value man okay guys so that's the issue with that. Obviously, anything you do, it's a skill set. The more you do at it, the more better you're going to get at it. The more better you get at it, the more women you're going to be able to keep, which is going to do the pre-selection because other women see you able to have other women. For all you guys that can't seem to keep no women around that you're sleeping, that's why your bedroom skills suck. Because even if your personality ain't on point or something, she'll just put you as Tyrone or Chad. You'll be the maintenance man. Okay, guys, so you want to improve those bedroom skills. If you lost women, you had a one night stand, you never heard from again, blah, blah, blah. If you had to put it down in the bedroom, even if it would have just been a fling or a weekend fling or a monthly fling, you would have heard from them. Not saying that I haven't. I can be a selfish lover at times. I can, as long as I got mine, I don't care. But for all my guys out there, if you wonder, like, what happened to that girl? Why that one night stand? Now, if it's your decision, then obviously, right? But if you hit the girl up and she, she ain't never hit you back, at the very least, you just would have became a Chad or a, a Tyrone. All right? You would have been the guy, that the, the good dick guy. But the reason why you're on the outskirts and you don't hear from her no more or nothing like that is because you wasn't that good in bed. So getting more sex, improving your uh, bedroom skills, or uh, for a lot of guys, just not being selfish. Like me, I can be selfish at times, like long as I get mine. But improving your sex, sex skills, guys, by having more sex, is a good upside to sleeping with a lot of women. All right, guys. I'll get back with you guys later.